Hey up YouTubers, Simon B here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're keeping safe out there. Um, look at this. I bring to you lots of some awesome places, don't I? Look at this. Huh? If you look up there, right up there, there's a, there's a road. That's, that's Rhinos Pass, or Rhinos people say it people say it all sorts of different ways it's rhinos rhinos pass um just through there through there 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 or zooming on it is um langdale pikes but langdale's over the top of that hill in front of us so we're in um where are we we're in tibberthwaite tibberthwaite and um I was going to do a few green lane things. I'm going to, well, I've got a chest mount. My um, helmet mount I just broke this morning, so I'm a bit peed off with that, but we'll have to get another one. So if you fancy a bit of update on Simon B, I've got loads to tell you, loads to show you. Um, stick around, and as they say, stay tuned. So yeah, we're out doing a bit of green laning. It's a uh, bank holiday Sunday. It's the uh, Platinum Jubilee. Um, Sunday and um, I've bought a new I bought a new bike I bought another bike no yeah another bike a new one not a new one another bike would you like to see it oh yes please so I've gone and bought myself a KTM 350 X XCEF something like that four stroke um, WRF gone well it hasn't gone yet it's nearly gone and um, I've been riding this beauty for a, a couple of weeks. And um, all I can say, it's rather awesome. So yeah, what's been going on? Um, well, we just come back from France a couple of weeks ago. As you can, as you probably already watched, you've seen the, um, the first video of France, which was quite awesome. Second one should be coming. It's probably, it's probably second one's already been on by the time you see this. Um, so yeah, I bought myself a new KTM 350. I don't think I'll be needing anything else after that now. Uh, WRF was fine, no problem. I just wanted something just a little bit, just a little bit sharper, a little bit lighter, a little bit better. Um, I went for the four-stroke KTM. I was looking at a CRF 300F rally thing, but the guys, you buy them, you got to spend a thousand pound on them doing the suspension up. I can't believe that they, that they sell a bike like that and don't do anything with the suspension, and it's non-adjustable. It's just a just pants really isn't it so for the price of um, a second on one of them you can have that beauty instead so I know what I'd rather have um, what else have I been doing been doing a bit of trialling trialling's back on you've seen probably seen that last week week before we've done a bit of trialling Ducati's been uh, pooly very pooly um, I didn't do a video about it because all I wanted to do was get it fixed but I'll just insert a video that I did regarding it um, and I'll stick it in what now hey up youtubers how are we Simon B here um, you probably don't know that we've had a bit of a problem with our um, uh, Ducati hyper motard and um, when I was I was out on it the other week it got a bit of a vibration and uh, it wasn't charging and uh, it had a crack in the casing on the left hand side which holds the armature windings for the alternator um, so this is why why can't you change it round? Anyway, so that there, which is stuck in the flywheel, should be bolted to that there. Um, there's the there's the cables off it. Um, so that's probably why we had a vibration that shouldn't have been a vibration. The only problem is that that side case that's got a crack in it is about 500 quid. And I believe this alternate uh, thing, which I don't know, could be about 400 quid. So hopefully... It's not going to be too expensive, but why it's done it, I don't know. Um, I've got a clue. Not good at all, is it? It's same fixable, which I thought exactly that's what it was, because it's the only thing that could do it. Um, I thought it had sheared off or something done had it without, without even taking it off, and I've just waited for a tool to take the casing off. Uh, so I've got the casing off, and we found out the issue. So hopefully that is the only issue. I don't think there's anything else. There's a bit of copper wire ligging in the bottom of the... Uh, bottom in. I hope it hasn't gone through the engine but um, we'll soon find out it's only a bit of copper, it's not exactly going to do much damage, if it was steel it might be a bit different but anyway, so 
I'll go upstairs and cry now. <laughs> anyway, if you're out there riding, ride safe, be safe and keep safe. We'll see you soon. So yeah, that was a bit of a shame. I believe, well, I've been hearing that it's um, it seems to be a bit of a regular thing on them Ducatis. I had one before and an 07 plate, never did it. But um, yeah, I don't know, it's got stuck. How it's sheared off, what, some power. Um, but yeah, it's all fixed now, everything's back on. Thanks to the guy in the Isle of Wight who um, supplied me with a bit. The bits were going to be about a thousand quid, but we got them delivered for about 200 pounds. So yeah, that's up and running, which is good. I'm up, it's going to last. Hope it's not going to do it again. Because <laughs> them uh, side casings are becoming less and less um, available. Um, what else been going on? Oh yeah, big, big thing. Um, I saw my CCM. CCM Spitfire is is uh, has gone. Uh, well, it went a few weeks ago. Well, nearly a month ago now. So that's gone. I am looking at probably something else, uh, some sort of Sunday bike, which uh, I may have run around in. But now I've got the Hyper Mortad. Um, I don't know. The Hyper Mortad, I think, is going to be an next classic. That's why I'm keeping that. That's why I wanted one. And um, I've been looking at a BMW R9T. So if anybody's got an R9T and knows anything about them, drop a comment in below. Do you like it? Thinking of buying one of them, really. They're about a, not a bad price. Um, so yeah. Apart from that, or a Ducati Scrambler, but they're a bit, I don't know, the newer ones are a bit better than Ducati Scramblers than the older ones, but I do like the R90s, so yeah, I might be looking at one of them. So yeah, that's what's sort of been going on with um, with myself. We've had a couple of people supporting the channel uh, through uh, buying me a coffee. It's not compulsory, should make it compulsory, should all have to buy me one. No, um, it's just one of those things I thought I'd do it, everybody else is doing it, and uh, thanks to, um, I think the last... The, 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 the last support was Sean Turnbull cheers to Sean thanks very much um, uh, for that puts a bit of petrol in the uh, in the bike and buys me a few kicks I'm going to have to buy another uh, helmet mount because the other one's broke this morning so yeah it's not um, a cheap thing to do this but you know I'm not begging but you know if you want to you know buy me a coffee fine links down below thank you very much and Bob Rocket too you've done it twice you don't have to do it again alright um, so yeah so let's get on with um do a bit of green lane in there. Don't know what it's going to be like. I've got a chest mount with me. We'll see what it's, what it's like at the end of it. If it's any good, you'll be next couple of minutes. You'll be well, can next next couple of seconds for whatever. You'll be watching um, a bit of off-roading on the KTM. So see you soon. side of um, the helmet lining and just dropping down so hopefully it's, it's sort of in front of my mouth so you can hear what I'm saying oh we're going down the west side do we now look at that eh? I think we had been up here once but it was a bit miserable wasn't it it was a bit weather well, was a bit cack it wasn't as nice as it is now Yeah, it's Jubilee weekend. It's been, um, I think it's been quiet up here for quite some time. I think everybody's gone abroad. I don't know. So that's Langdale, little Langdale town. You see the cars and the thing coming back from Rhinos. And that goes, and so that up, up over Rhinos and then that way and go into Langdale. We're going to do that one day. I did one last year on that on the CCM one night and then um, I had no audio of um, on the film sort of deleted it all but yeah it's looking a bit greener now that was one of the things things that we noticed when we were in um, in France everything was green in France it was a bit dark and a bit here before we left but um, it all seems to have um, greened up a bit which is um, good oh yeah there was one something else wasn't there 
Um, I'd bought myself a. Um, I bought myself a new touring suit, a Lindstrad Sunny. Um, insert photo. Um, I'll be doing a review on that. I worn that all the way, fifteen hundred mile round, um, round France. So, I'll, it's a laminate. It's not a drop liner, and it's probably the comfiest laminate that I've ever worn, really. Because I did try a, a few others before I bought that. And, um, but it turned out to be the comfiest one. Not as comfy as the uh, Alvars and Veen jacket, which um, I used to have that was comfy and if you are after a comfy jacket the vein is a very good jacket absolutely Kick. There she is. What do you think of that, then, boys and girls? Eh? It's all right, isn't it? I keep thinking of these things that I've done. Um, you've been seeing on my um, Instagram um, and Facebook post that um, I just rode a KTM Super Adventure S about a week ago am I buying one? Eh? no no nice bike How am I going to get rid of the GS? Nah. For a, for a, super, for a super adventure S? Nah. No, not this time. Probably would if it was um, 10 grand, not 15. Yeah. But, um, no. Yeah, there's a few things I liked about it. Of course, like hell. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have... Um, it doesn't have get on. Does that thing. Yeah, I'll go this way this time. I can't be asked going that way. Sorry, I can't be bothered going that way. Um, too many gates to open. Uh, there's not really much over there, really. So, um, we'll just go this way. been this way thank you that brings you to the other side that you've probably never been before yeah I love the um, I love the way that it um, that it rocked on because it didn't have um, it doesn't have um, get down the road a super adventure how far you can't have move I like the seating position of it that was good it was um, weird it was handlebars were like a little bit higher but they were like shoulder height and um, they made you sit upright which was good It was a bit, um, I'm going to say, a bit plasticky, which was the thing that put me off. I'd only pulled out of um, the place where I'd test it and it went over a bump. 
and there was a, like a clatter of plastic which was the plastic fair in it was like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I didn't really like um, top speed uh, going fast going slow it was, it was great going through the villages 30 mile an hour um, you know it was all right and um, it didn't have the tech pack on it so it didn't have the um, what it was what it was um, what it was missing was the anti-dive really um, if you put it into sport mode it had um, anti-dive Yeah, so it didn't have the um, what didn't it have? It didn't have the 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 the, the anti dive on it. It didn't have the quick shifter on it. Um, and they're only done a thousand miles, so it was um, it's a relatively new bike. So yeah. I got, I got off it, give it back and um, got my GS and thought I was going to hit my GS but no, no the GS is better, well in certain ways it is yeah. She's a different beast of the WRF, isn't she? Did I just wait then? Like me. <laughs> the worst thing coming out now, isn't it, when it's all green, is everything's everything growing. <laughs> There's not a lot of headroom. Things are growing into the um, into the path of the um, road. It's awful that hill, you don't know whether to do it stood up, sat down. Oh, oh which way? Really? Yes. 
I think 40 is a bit much. You know some up. Oh no, I have. Hey up. I stopped then, I thought I haven't even um just recording. Morning, cheers. And <laughs> you can't see around me, he's gone. Yes, sir. So yeah, where we've been this morning, we've been just been too, um... The, um... Dove was biker breakfast this morning. Cheers, gents. Yeah, so we've just been to the uh, Torva Bikers breakfast meet this morning, had a bit of breakfast. Um, I did a post about that the other day, didn't I? The other week, the other month, whenever it was, I can't remember. Could be a couple of months about that, couldn't it? It's a bit of an update of what's going on. New bike purchase, new, another new bike. May, maybe getting purchased if anybody like knows about the uh, R9Ts if they're any good you know comment down below please tell very much like um, yeah super adventure S no it's not gonna make it my uh, its way into my garage um, unless it's 10 grand which it may be soon um, upgrading of the GS no there's nothing out there someone just mentioned before I was talking to we tried the Multistrada not yet, I don't really fancy it really. Um, the issue with the Ducat is fixed, which we did a bit, a bit of video before, didn't we? Showed you in the garage. Should have done a video on it, but anyway, it's one of those things, it's fixed now. Um, yeah, CCM's gone to its new home. Why did I sell that? Well, I just, just sold it. Nothing wrong with it, love the bike. Just um, certain things were happening at the time that um, it just needed to go out of the garage, really. And um, I'll probably, if they came, came to a, a sensible, more sensible price, I think they'd buy another one. Well, I would buy another one, because I think they're quite good. I think they're quite awesome, they're not going to missing it. So, yeah, if you're out there riding, ride safe, be safe, and uh, as they say, keep safe. Hey. Thanks very much for watching this way. Don't forget, if you want to buy me a coffee, pay for a bit of fuel, or things that I keep breaking, that would be awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. And as I say, see you soon. Are you ready? Like, like and subscribe. subscribe.